Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the stockswish.com. This is a earning. This is actually, I mean, this is happening live. This is Netflix earning. I had done a preview of this, and here it is. It's gapping up. So, not gapping up to 500, which would have been absolutely perfect, but it's gapping up a lot. It's gapping up. So, closed. Where did this close? 348.31. It's gapping up right now to 370.50. So this is this is so early. I mean, between now and tomorrow morning, I have no idea where this is going to be. This could be up at 400 by tomorrow morning. So it's not gapping up enough to blow through the shorts that I thought would make it be a huge gap and do it. But it is getting buying. This is institutional buying to make this gap. Wouldn't be a 370 here now. Wouldn't be 20 some dollars over the uh, closing price. Actually, it was more than it was 25, 26 up here. If it wouldn't be getting bought, it's getting bought. So nice gap, nice, nice call by me before the nice. I called the gap before it even happened. And actually, somebody in the room actually did this. I think he did an option in it. Yeah, Surf Dog. So Surf Dog's gonna be loving me tomorrow or right now, anyways, because uh, he did an option in this before it even gapped. Because I said I. I don't present conviction it would gap up, and it certainly did. So nice, nice gap up in Netflix. Uh, have to see how this trades tomorrow, to see how aggressive you could be in, to see where it even opens tomorrow morning, see where it even gaps actually tomorrow morning. Again, this is so far, 9.30 is so far away from now because of what could happen in this. It could continue higher. It could open right around here. I mean, you just have to watch it. But the chart will make new highs this year still anyways. And again, I said long-term target in this in the next year is 750, and that's still very, very realistic. You can even see it here now. That's very realistic. So, uh, I just, I just don't know where this is going to open. So I can't even give any targets because I just don't. I, I, I don't, I don't know if it's going to open right here. But it's definitely going to gap up tomorrow. I think it could get some more momentum into it before tomorrow, anyways. So just wanted to do a follow-up update on this. Netflix to gap up as predicted. Not absolutely perfect. Perfect would have been 500 bucks, but still a very good, highly rated, good quality bullish gap. Beautiful chart of Netflix, as it was describing in the video earlier. Nice pulling that happened on here. The chart was never broken, was holding the uptrend, still is higher. Good quality bullish gap with the bullish market. Market's higher tomorrow, too. So Netflix has a real chance to make a run up at something tomorrow. And again, I have no idea what's going to open in the morning, but this is a beautiful chart here. And if you were in Netflix, uh, long and had the conviction to hold it through, you're going to get paid if you stay in this as a court trade. And, and no one should be in this short. Not anyone. And I and I know people shorted this here, but it's not a short. It never really broke. And the fact that it broke this gap really didn't have any significance. So, you know. Uh, and this is counts as a holding here too. See this? So Netflix will have a good run at it tomorrow. At some point, I just don't know how aggressive you could be in the setup. It depends where it opens tomorrow morning, but it's definitely a long. Even if it ends up setting up crappily tomorrow as a long where you can't be aggressive, it's a long then to follow through the next day. So this is a really, really nice bullish golden gap here in Netflix. Again, I've been watching this chart and following this chart for so long. I like to short, but Netflix is definitely nothing to touch to the downside. It is a beautiful bullish gap that is going to have new highs this year at some point. It's not going to do that tomorrow if it opens here at 371, but it still has a beautiful, wonderful bullish potential in it. And you could have bought this actually today. You could have bought this here today. Had a nice, beautiful um, move here today as well. So you could have bought Netflix here today and you're getting paid already if you did. But the real next target is all the way up here over the highs and 500 bucks. So this is this is going to be new buying. This is new buying. This is new buying that's coming in the stock. So it has huge potential for good targets. Whenever you have new buying in something, you're not going to see people taking profits. It's new buying. They're just getting in. Power money people are just getting in. They're not going to just get out. Power money people, people that are making these moving institutions that are buying the stock, aren't going to take the position today and get out of it tomorrow. Okay, it just doesn't happen that way. This is a long, it's new buying with potential, with a nice target and a good move, okay? This is Melissa with thestockswish.com. If you'd like more information, email me and Melissa at thestockswish.com. The next Golden Gap class is this weekend, April 26th and 27th. 
Feel free to email me if you'd like to sign up. People are already registered. I'm calling gas before they even happen now. I'm reading price so well lately. Just, you know, so much fun. So much fun reading these charts. I really, really just love numbers and price reading. I love price action. I love reading it. I love reading it. I love predicting it. I love when it works out to do exactly what I want. I love when it's perfect, but I love when it works. And I love when it does what I say. So nice gap up here in Netflix. Really love Netflix. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night.